The Pak Chengdu JF-17 Thunder made a big impression in its Paris Air Show debut with an impressive flying display. The program, which is a joint venture between the Pakistan Aeronautical Complex and China's Cadet Group, is being offered as a replacement fighter for militaries with older combat aircraft. This aircraft is meant for replacing the second generation of planes. That includes MiG-21s, MiG-23s, maybe MiG-29s as well, and of course F-4s, f 5 and Mirages, this class of aircraft. The JF-17 can be equipped with various weapons and systems for a wide array of missions. The aircraft is excellent for all the It's a multi-role combat aircraft. It can be used for air-to-air combat. It's got the missile, the weapons, the radars, capability to maneuver. And it's also good for air to sea because it carries the anti-ship missiles. Additionally, it is also good for day and night attacks against surface targets with which type of weapons, including the general purpose bombs and guided weapons, smart weapons. So it's got a large arsenal that is integrated with the aeroplane. So it's excellent in all the roles. This aircraft is outstanding in its own class of fight. It's a light combat aircraft. And its capabilities are as good as any other modern fighter. However, the cost is very affordable. As you know, the cost of uh, modern aircraft is going high and uh, the defense budgets are reducing all over the world. So the Air Forces find it very difficult to sustain or retain that capability. I think we've got a very good option where they can purchase the airplane, in fact, improve their operational capability, and you know, with the same budget, they can manage many things. So that's the charm that this airplane is offering, and that's why we've got many customers from third world countries. Mostly those countries which have tactical air forces, and they have now the obsolescence of their fleet, they're facing that problem. They are more interested in our aircraft, and they're hailing from Africa, Asia, Latin America. There are many countries which are interested. Pakistan Air Force's Black Spiders and Black Panther squadrons already operate the fighter. This is a very good maneuverable aircraft. It can pull uh, up to 8 Gs and negative 3 Gs. And it has a capability of uh, going vertically up, having a good thrust to weight ratio of 1.09. This aircraft is very easy to learn and understand. Uh, I can tell you the, how uh, easy it is by saying that this aircraft doesn't have a dual seater. So the first flight in this aircraft will be your solo flight. And during the Paris Air Show, Pak Chengdu announced their first ever export order from an undisclosed Asian country. Most countries have uh, three choices. You can have brand new fighter, top of the line, Eurofighter, Rafale, something like that, which a lot of countries can't afford. So for the countries that can't afford, they have two main options. One is to buy old surplus fighters which are expensive to operate, they may be cheap to buy, but to actually run them uh, costs a lot of money. Or you can buy a more affordable new fighter, like the JF-17, and this is one of its key selling points, is it's modern, state-of-the-art technology, uh, gives you high capability, and the operating costs are low, easily upgradable to meet future challenges, uh, and you get that for a lot less money than it would cost to buy a Rafale or a Typhoon or a Gripen. And for the Pakistan Air Force aircraft, the PAC, the, the Pakistani partner in the program, and the Air Force itself have established a very modern, integrated logistic support service. It's been in operation for five years, and there's also a flight test center that it can integrate weapons that any customer might want. And that whole support package, either through integration or actual direct support, can be exported to the customer. 